this as a part end number. And this number belongs to an exoskeleton that I would say quite special to me. But before I tell you more about it, what is an exoskeleton? Well, it is a suit that you have to wear on top of your clothes, and it can help assist you in many ways, such as lifting heavier weight or preventing body injuries. But, um, for example, Iron Man suit could be considered as a type of exoskeleton. It can make you fly and make you stronger. But what exactly is this patent number? Well, as I mentioned before, it is also an exoskeleton, but only for your spine. And that's the reason why it is so unique and intriguing. Because not a lot of developments in the past really focus on the spine portion of the exoskeleton. And the second reason that made this so special to me is that this patent belongs to me. Hello, everybody. My name is Salasik Selawatanakun. I am a 17 years old learner, a student, a teacher, a researcher, an inventor, and a programmer. All these things that I say I am, it pretty much came from one thing. It came from me being passionate about learning. I love learning and finding out new things all the time, but, well, unfortunately, to do all these things, Thai education system can't really help me much. So, what did I do? Self-learning. I developed my own self-learning method that I want to share with you today. And I will sum up my journeys as an example as we go along to make things more compelling. But before we go any further, I want to say something first. I am not here today to brag about my achievements or the knowledge I have. Not at all. In fact, I still have tons of things to learn. But I just want to share my story so you would be inspired to learn something too. Anyway, back to self-learning. I will break this down into two main stages, fantasy and reality. The first one, fantasy. You know, to learn something, it could be really hard, even if you are passionate about it. So for me, if I got stuck in those situations, or if I can't really motivate myself to learn something, I would just fantasize. Simply imagine the outcomes or benefit you will get from your journey, or even use protagonists like Iron Man to motivate yourself to learn something. So fantasy is really to adjust your mindset. This is the easiest and hardest stage of all. And what I mean by that is, if you can motivate yourself to learn something, that's great. Things would be much easier for you. But if you can't, moving on to the next stage would be so hard, you will end up giving up on it. Because self-learning is unlike Thai education system, where teachers just usually feed you with information or knowledge, or just demand you to remember something without providing the basis of it. And I don't like that at all. I don't really get to truly understand the content. I just remember it. But for self-learning, I can take my time to study it and really understand it. So you might be able to tell that I mentioned this guy a couple of times by now, Iron Man. And that's because he inspired me to do a lot of things I do today, including the exoskeleton I mentioned before. And also, the journey of how I got my patent number started when I watched and read his comics. It is so cool to be able to have a suit that could make you fly or even make you stronger. So I used that as an inspiration to push myself to further learn something about it. And the next stage is reality. And this can be broken down into three more steps. What, how, and then. First, what. Basically, what is to set your goal. What do you want to learn or what do you want to achieve in the future? I would suggest you to be imaginative and creative with it. Think of a goal that is so big you might not even be able to achieve it now with your current knowledge. But trust me, with patience, time, and self-learning, you will get there someday. So in my journey, I set a goal. Quite a big goal, actually. I can't really achieve it now with my current knowledge. Also, the technology in the modern world can't really achieve it now. But it also helps motivate me to further push myself to learn something about it. And maybe in the future, I might be able to achieve it. And that goal is, I want to be like the Iron Man, obviously. Next, how. How can you achieve your goal? What process or tools do you need to learn it? And to be honest, this step isn't that hard, but you'll need a lot of time and patience. You just can't read an article and call it done, or just sit in a lecture. And more than that, unprecedented problems will occur no matter what. 
And one of the tools that can get you through all those problems is critical thinking. From my experiences, if I don't truly understand it, I won't really be able to adapt the knowledge I have to solve all these problems. And you just can't adapt your knowledge if you use only what you remember from your lecture. Anyway, in my journey, I started doing some more research about exoskeletons in general, how they work, what they are, and more. I talked to experts, read tons and tons of academic papers, watched YouTube videos to gather as much information as I possibly could to develop my own exoskeleton. And as I said, critical thinking is one of the most essential skills you'll be needing in your self-learning journey. One problem can have tons of solutions, or one topic can have many ways to learn. So looking back at the exoskeleton I studied before, I found that many researchers didn't give much attention to the spine portion of the exoskeleton. So I started to wonder why. Is it because nothing interesting happened there, or is it just not worth their time? So again, I started doing some more research about it, and also used my critical thinking skill to figure out what was happening. And I found something interesting. I found that a lot of exoskeleton users have the same problem. They can't move the upper body freely, and that's because the spine portion of the exoskeleton is rigid. So I came up with this, the X spine. And by the way, this thing got me my patent number. It allows the users to move freely and whenever they want, but also doesn't limit the user's motion when they use it. And these things, I have been working for, on it for a couple of months by now, but this thing requires tons of knowledge, such as 3D printing, robotics, and programming. So the last step is then. Then, I think, is one of the most important, or the most important step in this self-learning. Why? Because after you have learned or have done something in your journey, you should conclude yourself what you have learned or what you have experienced. This way, you will get the most out of your journey. No matter what it, um, if it are uh, failures or a successes, you will learn from it. And remember this, you will learn more from failures. And of course, not all, all, not all of my journeys will be a successes. Failures will occur from time to time. At the beginning of my exoskeleton development, I can't really came up with a design that worked as I intended, but each and every design of them taught me something valuable that I can then implement and improve my next development. Anyway, this is an example of then. I finished off my initial information gathering process by publishing a paper about it. This way, I get to recap myself and also to share it with others. And this is another kind of then. So as I told you before, 3D printing is required for my exoskeleton development. But although it is just a tiny part of my main journey, I can also use my self-learning method to educate myself on that part too. And so at the end of that journey, I created a YouTube channel that um, I called um, Basic 3D to share my knowledge and experiences about 3D printing with others. And this is why I would like to call myself an amateur teacher. Um, all these prizes and rewards that you see here are just part of what I considered as the benefit. I considered them as just a tiny part of the benefits I got from my journeys. But what I really considered as the true benefit or the main benefits I got from my journeys is knowledge. I am so proud of myself that I can teach myself all these things, and self-learning has been really effective for me. But you know what? I can't go through all this journey by myself. I always have someone supporting me from behind. And you can go faster alone, but further together. School, yes, they can't really provide me with the knowledge I want, but what they can provide me is opportunities. You, can, you could be as smart as Einstein, but without opportunities, you won't really go that far. Anyway, let's recap what we have learned today. Self-learning has two main stages, fantasy and reality. The first one is fantasy. This is to adjust your mindset, and reality can be broken down into three more steps. What, how, and then. First, what. What is to set your goal. How is to learn. 
and then has to think, what's next? So after this talk, now that you have the tools to self-learn something, I would like to encourage you to go and learn what you have always wanted to learn. And I know that some of you may not be able to find someone to support you, so please consider me as one of your supporters. I created a card that some of you may have that can help guide you to kickstart your journey. And I would be so happy if just one of you learned something using the method I told you about. Doesn't have to be big either. Just learn something. So what are you waiting for? Go and learn something. Thank you. Thank you.